Mr. Rogers had the neighborhood of make-believe. U of M researcher Mick Rakowskis has the Human First Program Simulator. Whoop. And now I'm feeling the car shake because I'm on the edge of the road. <laughs> Rakowskis doesn't have any puppets in his make-believe world. Instead, there's a compact car and a 180-degree screen showing images from around Minnesota. We would choose things in the environment that would match whatever our goals are. In that case, either farm areas or outstate areas versus areas in the city. In Rakowskis' simulator on the University of Minnesota's Twin Cities campus, drivers can take a make-believe ride through downtown Rochester or a jaunt down a cornfield line highway. It's all part of a program that is telling you researchers a great deal about driver behavior. Forget about talking on your cell phone. Making a video while you're driving, now that's being distracted. And this simulator can tell us that. The simulator also tells researchers that drivers behave differently on country roads than they do in urban environments. One of the things we found was that while driving with buildings and things closer to the road, people were a little more cautious and kept um, a more straight and narrow lane position than in a rural environment. Rakowskis says crash numbers back up what the simulator is telling them. For example, seatbelt usage is statistically higher in urban drivers than in rural drivers. And per capita, more rural drivers die in crashes while not wearing a seatbelt. The numbers also say more drunk driving arrests take place in the country. And according to research, people in rural areas tended to have didn't think driving under the influence was as dangerous as people in, did in urban areas. Rakowskis says the whole point behind the simulator is awareness. If drivers are aware of their tendencies, they can, for example, pay more attention on rural roads, thereby making safe driving anything but make-believe. For the University of Minnesota, I'm Justin Ware.